I portray George Armstrong Custer and will be involved in this 150th anniversary during the reenactments at the Battle of Hanover, which takes place today, and then uh, the three days of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Even early on, when he was wearing this in the battles, uh, Theodore Lyman, who was on um, General Meade's staff, made a remark that Custer looked like a circus rider gone mad. But men eventually uh, recognized this uniform. He stood out. But his men became so enamored with him and esprit de corps that they began tearing up their red underwear to make red ties. And the, the unit, the, the Wolverines as he called them, became known as Custer's Red Tie Boys. You know? But they also started wearing the galloons on their sleeves, much like the uh, Confederate Army. He had sewn stars to the shoulders of this uniform and to the collar of his sailor shirt that designated him as a general. So Custer had this idea, he had this uh, romantic image of war. He had gone to the West Point Military Academy and had read extensively about the Napoleonic period. But he was a young man, he was 23 years old. All of a sudden he's thrown in commanding like 1,500 men. Any decision he made on the battlefield would affect the lives of his men or those men that he was opposing. And so to uh, build his own confidence, to uh, create this image of a leader, he felt that he had to dress flashy and he had to be larger than life. He was a, a very much a media star at that time. Uh, some of the actors back east got some notoriety, but not like what we have today. Celebritydom was uh, amongst the uh, politicians and the military leaders of the time, and Custer certainly was good copy and was probably written uh, in the press more than any other soldier.